this is what's up 290 fleet hacker and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to how to run older Windows programs on Windows 10 basically if you're having trouble running uh, programs that were made on older versions of Windows whether it be Windows XP or before Windows 7 or before this tutorial video should help you get around whatever problems you're having so first things first if you go to open a program that you were using on a window on a version of windows before windows 10 and like it just it doesn't work coming up with an error message this is something that you can try doing so so Believe it or not, Windows actually does have a software backwards compatibility feature built into it that's kind of hidden. If you don't know how to use it, I'm going to show you how to enable and use it. Just for just for a, an example, this game here would not, because it was made on an old version of Windows, would not run on Windows 10 for me because Windows 10 did not support it. Or at least my computer didn't, till I did this. So what you want to do is go to your program, the exe file for it, right click it, right click it, click on properties, and you should get this window. There will be three tabs up here, general, compatibility, and details. What you're going to want to do is click on compatibility. And you can basically try to get it to detect what version of Windows it was made for and try to run it with compatibility settings for that automatically by clicking this one that says Run Compatibility Troubleshooter. And, it, and it'll say it's detecting issues. And just go to this one. And it will try to automatically check run a windows compatibility mode based on kind of what it sees as the program what it sees for the program should work with it however if it doesn't if if it, if it applies those settings and it still doesn't work what you can do is you can come down here to compatibility mode and check run this program in compatibility mode for and then click on this and a list of versions of windows will come up and just check whatever version that it was running whatever version of old version of windows that it was running working for you fine on before and it should work and so basically well yeah that's about it and yeah they, they it will basically sort of take your program and run it in a software compatibility back shell with whatever versions of windows you have selected from this list they have Windows 8, 7, Vista, XP, and all the way back to Windows 95. So, what you want to do after that is just click Apply, and then click OK. That should be it. However, like if graphically it looks strange, then what you can do is try altering the graphical settings of it too. And you can just and you can do that by checking coming back here and checking reduced color mode and try selecting either 16 or 8 bit color and seeing what works out better you can also try checking this one that says run in 640 by 480 screen resolution which means that instead of trying to run it in HD it will run it in standard resolution if the program was meant to be run in standard resolution that it might look better than stretching it out to run in high definition if the program because with that could result in blurriness and pixelation if the program wasn't made to run in high definition so try checking this one if like it looks stretched out if a program looks like stretched out or pixelated or something like that so after that just click apply and click OK now if you go to run your program and it comes up with a 
file saying that like oh something something DLL is missing well that means your your computer doesn't have a driver on it that the program requires it might have been on the previous version of Windows so what you can do about that is go Google is try and Google whatever DLL file was missing and try and copy it to download and copy it to your system 32 folder and or see what driver that's a part of and then just install that driver if you're gonna be playing games then I playing like old games and stuff I recommend installing this driver to that you should just install for gaming on Windows anyway DirectX which you can download and install from this page here just download the installer and run it and it'll install the DirectX driver for you so with the compatibility settings I just applied whereas before it would just say can't run on this PC now let's try running it I'm gonna keep the volume turned off but keep in mind the sound does work have the backward compatibility uh, options I enabled this 1995 program is running fine on my new brand practically brand new Dell XPS laptop running Windows 10 so I'm here this game is working fine and I can play it without many issues so that's about it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed if you did leave a like comment subscribe this is what's up 2190 and I'm signing off